I'm James Black. I'm Joe McAvecki, and we're Jackson Pines. We're from uh, Jackson, New Jersey, which is a town that's like almost smack dab right in the middle of the state, and uh, grew up there our whole childhood. James, you still live there, right? Yeah. Yep. I live in Philly now, but Jackson is where we still practice and where we, you know, rehearse and where we're going to record our next record. So it's very much, you know, the home base of the band. We met mm. through music. We met because we were both kids who were like 13 and wanted to play in local garage bands. So we were in bands that played shows together for years and years. Um, I was in a band called Macaveskis and then The Boy Judas. And he was in a band, a punk band called The Peds and then a band called Mad Feather Group. Um, he was the bass player. And then uh, eventually we played so many shows together. There came a time when I formed a new band with other friends called Thomas Wesley Stern. We asked him if he was willing to try to learn stand-up bass, because at that point, James was, a you know, locally, to our friends, a well-known electric bass player. But then we asked him, and then what'd you do? You just borrowed one? Yeah, our buddy Matt Brown had one in his house, and it was just sitting there collecting dust, and he, he gave it to me, and I... It wasn't like the best thing in the world, but it got me through like the learning period and it got us started doing it. And it really, I kind of just picked it up and ran with it. I don't know. I still don't really know what I'm doing. It's kind of like a <laughs> learn as you go thing, but yeah. You make it sound good though. Yeah, I try. 10 years later, you yeah. got a nice one from New York City and we've taken it all across the country and yeah. even rented one when we went to London one time. When James and I started playing, you know, music together in Thomas Wesley Stern in 2010, um, I was in a indie rock band for all of high school, and I still, you know, listen, love all that music. But again, we were listening to our favorite stuff and realizing that, like, this Bob Dylan song is a reworking of a 1920s folk song. And what are the roots of that? And who is Paul Robeson, you know, the great uh, African-American singer? Um, who is Lead Belly, the great American folk singer? And we just start digging into these old videos and YouTube was a part of that. Uh, you know, Google was a part of that, but also James's expansive vinyl collection was a part of that. But I think the moment that really solidified it for us was we were invited by a close friend, uh, Casey Baker, who's also a great New Jersey musician. We were invited to go up to Beacon, New York, to a meeting of the uh, Clearwater Sloop Club. And it's an environmentalism club for the river that was started by Pete Seeger. Um, and the Clearwater Festival is run by this organization, but every month they have a sing-along, a circle jam, where people are just allowed to come, and you listen to the meeting, and you talk about the issues to help. They have a big sailboat that they take care of every year, and they still to this day sail it up and down the Hudson. And they were a big part of helping clean the river over the last 40 years. Long story short, um, we got up there and Pete was actually there that day and we got to watch him sing. He was 92 at the time. And it was like, just like an epiphany kind of moment. We were exactly where we needed to be at the time. And we went, we went every month for a, a long time and even got to sing with him once. He like joined us on a song that's on YouTube somewhere. And that moment when he sang with us and like came up, like we were doing a tune and he was sitting on the side, he walked up and like just inserted himself into the band, which is probably the coolest cameo of all time. I don't know if we could yeah, top that one. It's pretty but serious. But that was the moment where I was like, okay, I'm dropping out. Because I'd already been like skipping exams to go to shows and drive to other states and like go to meetings and stuff. But uh, that was the moment where I was all in 100% and try to find our own way to work with the material and just say our own stories, tell our own tales. That's, I guess, uh, what it is. Yeah, no, I mean, I pretty much hopped on the train right after that, and then I'd, same thing, I'd go with them up there, and that really, that really drove it home, like, this is what I want to do for, uh, as far as music-wise, and, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much it. I mean, it was a serious, uh, moment, so, yeah, it was cool. Still my blood's breathing the song came about about two years ago, um, and it's called Radio Kid, and it's basically a song about the differences between, like, you know, the generation that grew up in, like, the baby boomer generation was, like, where my dad and my mom 
that was their situation growing up in the 50s and 60s. And that sound influences our music a lot, you know? So it's kind of tying together these loose ends of like, you know, people who grew up like building their own radios and like train sets, Lionel, like that was like my dad's stuff. Like he built, he worked for the Ampeg amp company in high school in like central Jersey. And like all that kind of like do it yourself, homemade music kind of stuff connecting that to like today a little bit and what's still there but also what's been lost since then but also how like that generation two is still with us today and in our current melee and how like some of those things can come together and also fall apart in their own different kind of social ways so what you hear is me singing from the perspective of a character who's remembering his dad as like this kid and trying to compare their childhoods but not being able to reconcile them really um, and just kind of hoping for a reconciliation somehow with the generations, you know, whether it's in this plane or in the plane to come. But that, and, you know, that's to be determined. Jackson Pines uh, will be on the new compilation, and we're putting out a new record uh, in a couple months this year. We're just about to record it, and uh, there's a bunch of new videos from our adventures through quarantine last year that we're about to come out. So check out www.jacksonpines.com, and all our music is on Bandcamp. Thanks.